Hey, what's up guys? It's been a long time since I've done some kind of a guide video, so I'm gonna talk to you guys about Molagora. This is gonna be a really quick, just Molagora crash course. Um, first thing I'm gonna go through is like where you get Molagora. Um, get in a guild, you can buy one in the guild shop once a week. You get some from the shop here. That was a little bit of thunder. Still going, I guess. But, um, yeah, you come down here, you can buy some with conquest points every week. And then you can buy some with transmits, or buy one with transmit stone every week. And then the one from the guild shop every week. And then also you get two a month, I believe, from your logins. Um, let's see if I can see it here check in reward. My secret to same day delivery? <laughs> That's classified. Okay, that wasn't really necessary, but yeah, you get one on 12 days and one on 26. You also get them throughout the, um, <coughs> excuse me, the uh, the adventure quest. You get them as Abyss Quest Rewards. You get them in the Automaton Tower. Um, where else? You could buy the raid chest in raid and have a chance of getting a Molagora there as well. I've gotten about five or six of them out of that. Maybe seven, I don't know. I've gotten quite a few. But those are the only places that really come to mind. Oh, in clearing through world difficulty, when you uh, three-star a mission, you also get a Molagora there. So now let's get into like the most important part, and this is like how you should spend your Molagora. And um, I think this is pretty universal. I mean, some kind of there, there's some degree of personal preference that applies, but it really depends on what you're trying to do. If you want to be hyper competitive late game, you need to invest your Molagora wisely. And um, so let's let's just look at a few units here, like healers. Let's just start looking at healers. So healers, Molagora investment. A lot of healers, their their scaling off their healing is enough. You don't necessarily need extra healing through Molagora. What I do recommend grabbing is, you know, cooldown reduction, for example. See, like, this is just extra healing and damage. If you wanted a plus 15 Destina, you're not going to get as much as, you know, plus 15-ing a Charles. It's just not a wise investment. And then looking at another character, like Sage Bale, like his S2 here, gives it effect chance and more combat readiness. Those are more skills that you want to invest more heavily into. Um, again, more effect chance on his S1. Obviously, I didn't need to get that last damage because what I'm doing with Sage Bale and Sezen here is I'm using him to debuff. I'm not using him to do damage. So I could put that Molagora somewhere else on somebody that I'm intending to do damage and get way more value out of it there. Same thing with Dizzy. Like, I grabbed both of the cooldowns here, and that's all I really cared about. But Dizzy's kind of different than Sage Bale. Sage Bale does not do damage, even if you were to build him to do damage. Dizzy's kind of a special case. Her multipliers are pretty good for something that AoEs consistently. So she is a character that you can invest more Molagora in and not regret it. Um... Me personally, not something I was really looking into doing. Biken is like, people say she requires heavy investment. Generally when I'm using Biken, like I'm not worried about her S1 as much. Um, I rely on this combo here to do as much damage as I can to whatever I'm hitting. I would like to throw more Molagora into her. I mean, it's not a bad thing to do. But this is kind of where mine's at right now. Um, Violet is another character. So this is kind of where, like, characters that you use on Guild War Defense, like, putting as much Molagora into your defense teams as possible in, in regards to Guild War is very important. Because, like, whoever attacks you is going to counter whatever you're using. So you need whatever edge you can get. You need whatever RNG you can get on your team. And one way to really beef out your units is heavy Molagora investment. So like bruisers and, you know, like when you, you put units on defense, 
it, it's not a bad idea to just plus 15 every single unit that you're using on defense because on offense it's not that big of a deal um and then looking into other things like units that you're using to do one specific thing like Cameron for example like I only needed this because this is all I really care about that's all I use her for is for this combat readiness boost you know, and I use her in conjunction with other things. And then Luna, like, I strongly recommend, like, high single target damage units that you use for multi-purpose. Take them to plus 15. Invest heavily into them. You won't regret it. Um, Charles is another candidate. Really good for taking a plus 15. Euphine, you know, there's, there's, it really depends on what you want to use. Assassin Kali is a really good plus 15 candidate. And then you look at units like Watcher Shuri here. That's a dingo. But Watcher Shuri, like, of course you want to max out the skill that you're going to be using him for. So just, you know, he's just like Tamarin. He's just like Sage Bale. Yeah, he's a damage user, and I can get more damage out of these, but um, that's, those are the not of the abilities that I'm using him for. I actually fought a plus 12 Watcher Shuri in Guild War, and I was like, why? Like, you just wasted all your Molagora. Um, passive abilities, um, another really good thing to invest heavy into, like Crimson Army. Um, her passive, you get a lot out of it. Uh, there's another one down here. Where's General Purgus? There he is. His passive. You get a lot out of it. Passives are, are good to invest into. Um, but, you know, look at what you're trying to do. And you don't, you don't need to throw Mola in stuff as soon as you get it. Like... Fighter Maya is another one. I really want to Molagora her as well. And people also sleep on S1s. S1s are some, like, if for a damager or a bruiser or something, you're going to be using S1 a lot more than using S3 and something that you're consistently using to do damage with. You know, Watch Your Sure is a special case because he does damage with his S3 and then he's just kind of waiting to use that again. You know, and usually you have a team to support that. But if you're using a unit, like Luna, for example, it's a perfect example, has a passive, has a great kit all around to put Mulligore into, you get a lot more damage. It's 35% um, more damage. Like, she just, like, she will do with the same gear as somebody else, same exact gear, same stats, but she, if they didn't have this, and she had this, she would do 30, like, a, literally a third more damage than them. Like, Molagora is super important. Um, units that you just use for utility purposes, like, you, you just need to get the utility out of that unit. Like, you don't have to invest heavy into them. Um, so... Yeah, you can also get, like, I, I forgot to mention, like, Molagora comes in packs sometimes. I've gotten quite a few of them on here. I haven't bought every single one since I've started playing. But I'm going to swap over to my account, my accounts real quick so you can see my free-to-play account and how I'm spending my Molagoras over there. So I will be right back. Okay, so here I am on my second account. Um, I play it very casually. I might play it an hour today, a day, if that. But I'll show you how I'm managing my Molagora, like, coming in with the knowledge that I have from playing another account. Um, so, as you can see here, like, I have another bike in here with mediocre gear, but I invested in her in the same. But I use her a lot more over here, so I'll probably invest into her a bit more. Um, I'm actually going to end up plus 15-ing this Ken eventually whenever I can. Um, Kron, I'm not too worried about his passive having a lower cooldown because generally, if you use him on Guild War defense, he's only going to get to use it one time anyways. But I am planning on maxing out Apocalypse. Um, Vildred is another candidate that I might take the plus 15. Um, Challenger Dominial, um, I watched a Ten Haas video where he compared damage while molding this up, and it was a very minor upgrade. Um, Maybe in the future, I'll plus 15 her, but right now I'm satisfied with plus 12. Um, my BBK over here is plus 15. I kind of did it as a meme, but she's actually really fun to use. And then the same here, like, since I'm budgeting myself, like, I just got the cooldown on her. I'm using her for utility. Um, I didn't need to get this one because it, they both turn cycle over four turns anyways. So she's going to use this and then use this. 
And yeah, this ability will be on cooldown when she uses this one, but it'll be off cooldown the next time, so you don't necessarily need the cooldown reduction on it. Sermion is another example that I might invest Mola heavily into, possibly. And then, you know, I got my two healers here, I got the utility in them, you know, the turn cooldown, and that's as far as I'm going to be going. But, like, you're, you think, I'm, you're probably thinking, well, you don't have, you know, that much Mola invested in here, you know, so... But I can show you here, I have actually, I think 30, 32 of them saved up. And yeah, I could dump some into her right now and bump her up some, but it's not really, you know, it's not something I really need to do. So, to you know, to do what I'm doing in on this account anyways. So I'm just kind of stocking them up. I know what my plans are for the account. Um, I know I lack gear, so I... Because I don't really farm here, so I have to make up for that in Molagora. So I make sure I put my Molagora in places where it has a lot of value. Um, like if I was to like suggest a way to do priority, if you're going to take a unit all the way to plus 15, um, like Firekin for example. Um, his S3 is great, it does a lot of damage, but realistically he does not use it that often. He always opens with his S2, so it's great to get that plus 3 in the S2, and then probably max out the S1 first, because he's going to be using that more consistently, you're going to get more out of it, you know, over a long-term fight, and then come back and finish the S3. Make sense? Um, kind of same thing with Vildred. Um, I would probably recommend getting the cooldown here first, and then come into the S1, and then the S2, you know, because... He's going to be using these more often to farm with than necessarily using this. Make sense? Um, and those are just some ways to mole units. Hopefully this helps somebody out. Because um, I didn't know what to do with my Molagor when I started. And I'm seeing, like I've watched some other content creators recommend how to do Molagora. But I'm not going to call anyone out by name. But these guys aren't necessarily like, I'm not going to say they're casuals, but they're, you know, they're not to the degree that I am in the game. And they just recommend, oh, well, get the cooldown reduction and everything and, and et cetera, et cetera. I mean, it really depends on what you want to do in the game. If you want to be more competitive late game, you have to heavily invest Molagora into your key units to make them really good. Like, Molagora is a huge part of this game. You don't just want to throw it into everything. I mean, if you're not really interested in, you know, late game content, you're just playing it casual, you want to use as many characters as you can, then yeah, go the route where you just grab cooldowns and then, you know, you won't output as much damage. But, you know, if you're doing raid, being able to farm hunts consistently, do, you can do all that just fine. But when it comes to min-maxing, you have to invest heavily in Mola. Um... And that's pretty much it. Like, if this helped you out, let you let me know in the comments. Um, if you have any more questions or anything that I didn't cover, you know, drop it in the comments and I'll get back to you. Um, if you're new here, subscribe. I'm going to try and do more short videos like this covering certain topics. If there's another topic that you want me to cover that I can do in around 15 minutes or less, you know, drop it in the comments and I'll see about getting that done as well. You guys have a good one.